Um, he's gonna be able to combat Ace Slash, who's a very, very different character than others. Okay. Oh, okay, we got, um, alright, so we do have a problem, um, Paper Psych did, um, didn't check her battle control, so you're gonna have to exit out real quick, um, uh, to be able to fix that up. Alright, did you select battle control? Uh, alright, hey, uh, in queue, exit out, just press pause, and then quit battle. Yeah. Oh, weird. Paper Sack uh, did not move that entire match. Interesting strategy. <laughs> it's the strat. <laughs> there we go. Dude, I just gotta, I just gotta pick Krogunk round one to stand there the whole match. It's like, there we go. They, they, uh, they're just like throw out one poison gem. This is, they get closer to <laughs> Flawless strategy. Alright. Everyone pray to the controller gods. Hopefully it works. So, something I didn't notice before. Um, who's that picking? Well, I assume to be, it's going to be Mimikyu for her support choice, which is um, interesting. She almost never searches off of Dragonite. So, okay, looks like everything's working now. Hopefully. Okay, so you see try and walk forward with a shield. Okay, that going in. Ooh, nice able to avoid the um last a bit. It's only back there, but the paper sack is Doing some nice iron heads, but not able to quite hit. A lot of things going on here. Ooh, okay. So, <laughs> it's an interesting bait there for Mizi, the lots of shielding. I'm not quite sure if she thought she had a burst yet or not, but nothing else like that. But anyway, um, like I was kind of saying earlier, um, looks like it's running Mini Q. It's definitely a different choice from her. Very different from her usual Dragonite. And a nice combo there from, uh, from Paper Sack. And going into Mimikyu now, this field phase, let's see what she can make use of it for. And there we go, hitting the last bit of homing attack there, Paper Sack will take the first round. And already has her burst already ready to go. I think, oh, I forget what age such a CC is, I think it's 150? Maybe like 200, might be 200, I can't quite remember. I think it's something that you can get pretty often, if I remember correctly. Paper Sack is trying to keep her space with the Sacred Sword. E.T. though, a little bit overestimating her grab. Alright, E.T. trying to get any kind of approaching. Oh, barely missed the first grab, but second time's a charm. Alright, E.T. trying to get in right there, but oh, missed timing from E.T. We got double burst just going on here. Perfect. Getting out of that situation with her J.Y. And able to get the first um, shield fit form first attack. I don't think it's gonna be doing. Is this gonna, I don't think this is gonna kill. Uh, oh, okay. So, uh, Et still in this. A little bit of health going straight into the burst. Oh, not quite able to land though. Ooh, and there we go. Paper stack with the back Y. Able to snag that hit right there, taking the first game. Again, interesting to see we use Mimikyu. Um, it's not very often we see Paper Sack do different uh, support choices. So, glad to see some um, her experimenting with more choices. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Game two here. No changes from either side. 
I would say Paper Stack is doing a nice job using your King Shield on things like Frog Deer, um, which is basically free. And if you land, you, you get a nice attack speed up on the opponent. Is that going to Sword Form? Trying to bait something out with the JYY. Ooh, can we get a combo going here? Nice! Lots and lots of damage going on. Trying to, trying to approach, kind of having a bad habit of walking straight forward. He, um, he to um, change up your movement, like moving uh, left and right, maybe a little bit back. Trying to just like mix up your opponent and try and bait things out. And that is a perfect from Paper Stack right there. Here we go. Going into into. E.T. Uh, e just very cautious with the shield, walking and blocking. Alright, so here we go. So E.T. trying to get some pressure going, but Paper Sack going into her burst is going to be doing some nice, nice damage. Probably bring E.T. to e -T down to about 350. Is my guess? Let's see. I'm just doing... 389, okay, I guess I overestimated that. Paper Stack just keeping her distance. She, she, um, overall, Paper Stack has a very defensive base for Aegis Line. It's an interesting choice because Aegis Line can kind of have two different play styles, like very aggressive, very de very defensive with his two forms. So, interesting to see Paper Stack take the more defensive route. I, but I don't think it's the more popular one. I think it's definitely more popular to see the um, offensive route. Ooh, and there we go, the Fury Cutter combo right there. Leading into Paper Sacks. Yeah, that was a 2-0 victory right there for Paper Sack.